Hi, I am Hedgehog Gamer 555, and this is the Leap TV. It's one of four home game consoles released by Leapfrog. The other three being the Leapster TV, but that doesn't really count because it's technically just a Leapster. The Click Start and the Zippity. There is also more recently there's been the Leapland Adventures. That one doesn't really count either because it's just a plug-and-play console that just has one game in it. So anyway, the Leap TV. Yeah, it's it's a thing. And also, yeah. So it has. This is the Leap TV controller, but you see, it's it's a pretty unusual shaped controller. Let me just adjust the focus. But this controller has a party trick. It can transform. So, yeah, I'm going to like show you like the Elite TV and like some of the gameplay of. But I only have some gameplay. Some, I only have two games, but. I know what you're thinking. How can you review a console if you only have two games? But, hold on. There's a pretty good reason as to why I only have two games. At least for now. So, without further ado, let's shift this, um, let's shift this camera up, and, um, let's see the Leap TV. Okay, just... Yeah, let me shift the camera up. Okay, let me just adjust the focus. Ugh. This is kind of not cooperating, this camera is. Okay. Uh, maybe we should move the, the maybe we should move it a little bit closer. Just let me tighten this thing a little bit. Oh, I'm very sorry if this camera shaking is making you dizzy. Oh, wait, I think I got it. There we go. There should be no more abrupt camera up and down movements. Okay. Okay, so yeah, now that the whole TV... If I can adjust... Maybe if I adjust the focus now... Ugh, let me close the windows. Eh, looks a little better, but it's still kind of blurry. Eh, let's bring it back a little bit. So you can see a, some more of my cluttered desk. Ugh, I don't know why this isn't working. I apologize greatly. I'll try adjusting with it some more. But now we've just got to turn on the TV. But since the button on the top is broken, i got to find the remote. Now, it should be close by, because I never take it out of this room. In fact, I'm definitely going to edit this part out, so... Forget I said anything. Nope, it wasn't even out of... Move at all. Oh no, that's backwards. <sighs> okay, let's see. I know I'm turning the right dial to focus. Set on. Let's try setting it to manual focus for a second. There we go. I just needed to put it on in manual focus. Oh, I hope focus, it not being able to focus doesn't become a running gag on this channel. So as I, so as I was saying, that little gizmo up on top of the TV is a camera. And you'll see why that's important in a minute. 
Oh, also, that disc right there, that's the Leap TV itself. So, yeah. I'm just gonna turn it on. Um, sometimes, for some reason, it needs you to push it to the button two times. We'll see. Is the volume up good enough? Let's turn it up just to be safe. And yeah, it seems to always be cut off at that part. I love me a good console startup screen. And that one was, was pretty mediocre, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're at the profile selection screen. Control. This, even though it's literally connected. Here we go. So yeah, there's only one game pre-installed in here, and that's... Well, I'll let the girl do the talk, the narrator do the talking. Pet Play World. Yeah, this narrator narrates the name of every game. Pointer Training Games. Center. This isn't actually an app center. It's just an ad telling you to go onto the Leapfrog website to visit the app center. Sneak peeks. This is a bunch of trailers for other Leap TV games. Pet Play. But World. let's get into Pet Play World. Put your hand through the wrist strap on your controller. Remember to point the light directly Done. to the camera. Done. But this is the... Pet Play World. Anyway. But yeah, this is like the remote strap Welcome that... Welcome home, Super 9000. Anyway. Like I was trying to say, this is the... This, this is the type of wrist strap that the first gen Wii remotes used. But then Nintendo redesigned them because people were hitting their TVs too much. So yeah. Use these buttons to have even more fun with your pet. So yeah, this is my pet, Super 9000. It's a robot. So yeah. Oh, he wants um a car toy. Choose a toy for your pet. Select the arrow. Yeah. For I'm in pointer mode right now. Let's switch back to classic mode. That's what the untransformed mode is called. There you go, Super 9000. Oh, sorry, let's move this dubious disc cleaning device out of the way so then you can see the rest of the icons. We have pet, which lets you change how your pet looks. Games, which lets you play some games, as you might expect. Which lets you ch choose what decorations you want your pet's home to have. Toys. Which you just saw. Friends. Which, ch which, this is really confusing. I don't know any of these people. And my, and I own, and I know only one other person who has a Leap TV. And that's one of my cousins. You can invite this friend over to play. By anyway, I'd assume that it's just, it's just making, <laughs> it's just making <laughs> friends with, Whoever turns on their Leap TV. Friends. So yeah, these other people are other account. This Captain Face is a pet made by, I don't know. It's just a random person who I don't know who it is. So, so are all these other ones. So yeah, let's fulfill Super 9000's wish to go to play Snack Attack. You need pointer mode for this Let's game. Let's load up our snack shooter with some delicious pet treats. 25 minus 1 equals what? So yeah, this is an, this is an educational game. Point Le the light at the treat machine with the yeah. correct answer and press the A button to select it. Oh, what's it talking about at the light is that this controller has a light on the light end. The treat machine with the correct just... answer and press the A button to select it. So yeah, in case you're unaware, Leapfrog's whole thing is that they're educational. Equals what? I believe that's 18. 18. 45 minus 9 equals what? 45, 43, 42, 41, 40, 30, 
Yeah, All I knew right. that. The snack shooter is loaded up and ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Point your light at these hungry pets and press the A button to send them a snack. You're not supposed to hit the pie machines, if that wasn't already obvious. Indeed. Boom! I got a new high score. Well, Let's transform. 9, oh, I didn't know that I could play music. Nice. Game so yeah, let's do. Choose a game to play with your pets. Let's play. Super Pet Sprint. Let's fill up our water bottle before our big run. Find the word you hear. Me. This is confusing. I'm a robot. Why does a robot need to drink water? Shouldn't it, um... Don't you think water would be detrimental to the robot? Find the word you hear. Me. Me. Find the word you hear. On. On. Yeah. This is... This Find is... the word you hear. So. This is easy for a person like me. So. Who's... Has had several All years right. of going to school. Ready to run. Shake your controller to give your pet a boost of energy. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I almost got a high score that time. Nice. Welcome back, Super. What? Friday. Who's this? Where did you come from, Mr. Red Penguin? Friends. Super Patches? Where did you come from, dude? I didn't invite you. This is suspicious. Let's leave this game. And this is this icon is supposed to be a reward center, but it doesn't really work. Sometimes it tells me it's still downloading, and sometimes it just kicks me back to the profile select screen. That's definitely what it's going to do now. Select your profile to play. 
Except now everything's all black. Sneak peeks. App Center. Pet Play World. Pointer Training Games. Pet Play World. Let's try launching Pet Play World just for the heck of it. Put your hand through the. Right, it's actually working. Remember to point the light directly at the camera. Yeah, at least we'll get to see if that red penguin is still there. Welcome back. Oh wait, no, now it's a pink penguin. This is super suspicious, Leapfrog. Are you sure? Yes. Somebody must be playing Pet Play World at the same time as me. I've never had this happen before. Oh, now everything's all arranged. Wait, wasn't it that last time Pet Play World and Pointer Training Games were right next to each other? That's weird. Anyway, so this right here... Wait, no, let me just tilt the camera down for a sec. So this right here, Dance and Learn, is the only other Leap TV cartridge that I have. Nope. That was the wrong way. Ugh. I'm gonna figure out this tripod. So, yeah. But, yeah. Ugh. So, yeah, this is what Leap TV cartridges look like. And the connectors on the back are surprisingly small. Anyway, but then something strange happens anytime you try to insert the cartridge. <clears throat> you watching? Okay. So here's me inserting the cartridge. booted me back to the profile select screen. But now, if you try to choose your profile, then it just boots you back to the profile select screen again. Select your profile to play. Anyway, enough of that. It doesn't, even if, if you choose the, it doesn't work. If you choose the guest profile, it doesn't work if you insert it and X while playing pet play roll the X and out. It doesn't matter if you, um, insert it while the cartridge is off, while the console is off, and turn the console on. It doesn't matter. This is so glitchy, but enough of this. Let's turn it off. Anyway, so yeah, the reason why I'm not, so yeah, for that reason, I'm not sure if, any other cart if all other cartridge games do that, or if it's just this, because but also I have a really expensive YouTube video coming up soon. Well, hopefully soon, and I want to save all my money for that. Well, not like save up money. I just want to put all my money towards that. And that video. So, the eShop is closed, and there is no longer any way to, bu to buy DSiWare. Or is there? The answer is on eBay. Trapped on the, mem in the system memory of hundreds of DSIs. Will I buy a DSi that has some DSiWare on it? Stay tuned! It's coming soon. Or subscriber, click that bell if you want to be notified when I post new videos. Until then, Hedgehog Gamer 555 out.